Every now and then, I like to remind people that I'm nobody special. <laughs> but you already knew that. If you've been watching video very long, you know that you're nothing special about me. <laughs> I'm a pizza eating <coughs> for breakfast. Typical male <laughs> without a paper plate. No, oh, well. Fun loving, kind of Jesus freak kind of guy, just like you. But a lot of times people want to know how do you do what you do? Like how do you how do you get out there and get thousands of people to watch or to be a part of the ministry or how do you start a ministry or how do you get involved and what can I do, you know, to share the gospel? Well, the blunt truth is you just do it. You see if you're looking in this mirror right now, you're looking at a camera. All it takes for a video is that little camera, or your camera on your cell phone, whatever it may be, and you just point it at yourself and you talk to the camera. Because the people that are on the other side are the ones that you're talking to. It's not very hard. Then what you do is you can upload that. Now you see, uploading is a little trickier. From a cell phone it's a little hard, but from your computer which you can send your cell phone video to your computer and then upload it from there because it's a little easier for the computer to convert it than your cell phone. But some smartphones know how to do that. So you can upload it either to YouTube or to Facebook or do something like that. And you can talk about Jesus. You could share your testimony. You could read a devotional. You could do like I do, read devotional books. You could use a wide variety of things because as you start to share God, God will start to inspire you because he likes to use people that are in the motion of doing their devotion. You know, kind of like once you start the ball rolling, then it's easier to keep the ball rolling. Well, God does that. He'll steer you as you start taking your footsteps towards that goal of wanting to share Jesus with other people. So really, there's not anything super special about how I do it. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons why we started Vidivo was to inspire others to do better than what I do. You don't have to go out and spend money on a website because, you see, everything in Vidivo, if you Google Vidivo right now, you will see thousands of references. If you Google Michael James Stone, you will see thousands of references. Let me explain something. That's all done free. It doesn't cost anything. It costs me for hook up to the internet, yes. Other than that, it's free. What you can do is you can go to Blogger. It's part of Google. Blogger gives you free blog sites. You can even put into Google free blog sites and start a blog. Blogs will post your videos. They will post your material. They will let you build a website. They will let you build a blog site. They will let you do all kinds of things up to a point. And as you continue to do that, you'll see how and learn from your mistakes. Because you see, that's how the disciples did it. They didn't just run right out, you know, were perfect, you know, evangelists. As a matter of fact, Jesus watched them in action and said, uh, don't beat up on John's disciples, you know, kind of, you know, chill out. Because whatever God has given you to do, He's the one who gives it to you, not not you go out and you know like take it from someone else or try to make your own disciples, but rather God gives and the anointing or the appointing to whom He chooses. And so, if God wants you to go out into the ministry, which He does, and He wants you to get off of just doing socializing. You know, on Facebook, like just playing games and not doing anything important. And he does. Then maybe you could start recording videos, videos. You could start telling people about Jesus without even worrying about meeting them face to face. Because you see, a lot of you people I know are intimidated by, oh my God, I don't want to talk about God because that's scary. They might argue with me. Guess what? You can't argue with the camera. Now remember, look at this. Focus in real carefully. Can you please tell me what about that camera is going to argue back with you? Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. 
It's a camera. It's got a blinking light. Big deal. After you record, oh, two or three hundred of them, you won't even notice the camera. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're like my wife, you'll notice it every time. No, I'm kidding. But the point is, God wants you to be you and to share His Word with people everywhere. So, you can start with a video, or you could do you know, the blogger, like I said, or you could do WordPress, which also has free blog sites. You can even do Google Sites, which has free websites. You can go to Wix, which has free websites. You can do a lot more than you think you can, and it's all free. All of it is made user-friendly when it's free. Now, if you want to spend thousands of dollars in the ministry, thousands of dollars to promote yourself, use AdWords and all these advertisements, gimmicks, to get money for yourself or to spend money on yourself, you can do it. But, you want to Google Michael James Stone again? And you want to Google video? Remember, all those listings were done with no money. Think about that for a minute. I know you might find some people that have better websites, and they are. You might find people with a better message, and they do. You might find people with huge amounts of ministry tools and you know, connections and all that kind of stuff. And they do. And they are better. They're great tools. But you know what you won't find? You won't find anybody that gets more bang for their buck than I do. Because <laughs> God and I, we got a thing going. <laughs> freely receive, freely give. Man, we took that to heart 35 years ago when I got saved. Plus. And since then, it's always been free. Because whether it was Firefighters for Christ, Cape Lending Library, or later, Word of God Book Library, or later, even the libraries that I have passed around and my sister's taken over and running, it's free, or it ain't the Lord. You know, because what we believe in is if God has so freely given us all things to enjoy, then we need to distribute back to the body of Christ those things freely. So in my ministry that God has given to me, yeah, it's a testimony. It's a witness. As a matter of fact, it's a fact that you can do all these things free. And if you want to do it by money, you can. But you're going to have to go on your own because, you see, I used to be a network engineer and none of these sites require a network engineer in order to do them that I told you about, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Posterist, Blogger, WordPress, any of them. None of them require a genius. You can figure it out pretty easy. Just dink around with it. Google Sites. None of them require a genius or being a network engineer. But because I'm a network engineer, you see, I could, because I'm retired now and I'm in the ministry, but I could have charged you thousands of dollars to make you a website that I could get for free and charge you for it and put your name on it, you know, give you the password and say, hey, yeah, go be blessed. But I'm retired. I could have charged you $50 an hour up to clean your mouse, fix your computer, do all the things that some software can do and you can do for yourself. But I'm retired. But you know what? You really want to go out and spend all that money on things, you know. You don't have to learn on your own or do anything with you and God. You can pay someone else to do it for you. But you know, I kind of like this freely receive thing, freely give. Because that way, I can inspire the poor and needy to not be poor in the kingdom of God, but that they can be rich unto the proclamation of Jesus Christ in our world as well as his soon return. Because I know that every single person, whether they live on the street or whether they live in a mansion, 
they could go down to a library and they could use that computer to do exactly the same things that I'm doing. As a matter of fact, they can go to different places in the community and do that. They can even borrow somebody's cell phone and do that. It doesn't take a genius and a massive production number anymore to do any of this. Most of the videos that go viral are done by you and me. As a matter of fact, producers now are going back to the freebie thing because they're realizing, hey, you know what? If those guys could do it without a production budget, why am I spending so much money making a production budget? Maybe I'm missing something here. And they are doing that. <laughs> it may surprise you, but a lot of Hollywood is going back into the internet. Now, our ministry is a little different. You see, I have had at one time, when I first started the internet ministry, up to 10,000 people per week visiting my sites. Why? Not quite sure yet. <laughs> I've been a glitch with posters, but I'm not sure because I was really hitting a lot of countries that I went, man, how come I'm hitting all these countries, you know? And I still hit all those countries still, but not to the degree that they were being hit. I think somehow I got some bandwidth that maybe I wasn't supposed to have at the time, but anyways, it was pretty pretty heavy traffic, you know. It was like, wow, boy, look at all those numbers. I was shocked. But at the time, I told the Lord that, you know, I just want to know that people are getting the message. So he flooded me with all these people. Then I said, you know, Lord, that's not important to me anymore. I just want to do it for one. If but for one, we do it in the name of the Son, then but for one, we have done it. You know, we have accomplished our purpose. So when I said that, all of a sudden, posters changed their format and I lost all my bandwidth, I guess, and suddenly I still had the same countries, but it was like one or two people in each country instead of, you know, two or three hundred <laughs> in each country, which is what I was getting. So I don't know if it was like, you know, suddenly there were filters or suddenly governments were shutting down things and getting a hold of this internet thing and kind of like you know, backing people up. But a few years back, you know, it was pretty, pretty new back then. But now, you know, I backed off of all of ministry for a while and just focused in on the videography of ministry, meaning video. And God spoke to me and said, do this. You know, So instead of writing and devotionals and other things that I was doing in just the writing aspect, ministry of my calling that the Lord had given me, now I've been doing the videography, you know, the video, video part. And because of that, I let everything go. So obviously we're not 10,000 a day. Yeah, but yeah, we're happy with one. Of course, we've got a lot more than just one person watching. <laughs> but you see, the reason being I mention numbers is because you can't focus in on having thousands of people. You don't look at the numbers. You don't put and keep track of those things because they'll deceive you and they'll mislead you. What you do is you let God inspire even just one person. And you may find that one person could be a Paul that would save millions of people. That one person that inspired Billy Graham would have saved thousands of people. You see, that's the point. You may inspire one person to follow Jesus in a way that you might not. And if you do, then guess what? God accredits it to you. So our whole point about, you know, having a mirror, you know, and looking in the mirror is to remind ourselves that, hey, you know what? I'm nobody special. Nope. <laughs> that's obvious. I need a shave. Holy cow, is that what I look like? Oh my God, man, I need to look in the mirror more often and, you know, kind of clean up my act. But let me just say to you, you may be the next evangelist, the next pastor, the next elder deacon, whatever, and you may start off just by doing it simply in a ministry, a ministry that God has given you to share Jesus and call every single human being to do. Because you see, the first commission was what God gave to all of us. And that is to teach all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but to proclaim the good news that Jesus has risen from the dead. That Jesus has caused us to have a personal relationship, not just with Him, but with the Father. And that we could be forgiven for our sins. That we have a reason for the hope that lies within us. And we have a confidence in all the circumstances of life that may come down upon us. And that even when the world is falling apart and coming to an end, as it is soon, 
that we know where we're going and we're going to be with Jesus, that where he is, there shall we be also because he's gone to prepare a place for us and he's going to come again and take us home to be with him. And that's what we share and communicate to other people. And that's why you already have a calling. You already have an election. You already have a ministry. And all you need to do is make it sure. You're the one that's really just kind of like hedging your bets and not stepping out and doing what God wants you to do because you're probably already doing it. It's just now you may be inspired to do it in a new way. Maybe reaching out across the waters to the entire world. Imagine that. You could actually meet people from another country and witness to them just through the simple venue of all these things and tools that God has given us in these latter days to get the gospel out. A little faster, a little more intense, maybe a little more digital than you know we personally would like to be because there's nothing as powerful as person to person when you really care and you care about each other one on one. But God can use what we got, so He's using technology. So you might as well be blessed and give it a chance. Because if not, well, you know you could have you should have, you would have, but you didn't. So it's up to you. Between you and God, I highly recommend that you go and do according to how the Holy Spirit leads you.